so just to be with everybody. Okay. Um, I, I put in here the financial statements for where we're ending up at June 30th. If everything was to stay the same today, which I know it's not going to, um, we have a surplus of 168,000. Um, I had, oh, I also wanted to tell you, because I'm not sure that Chris did, that we drew from the line of credit, that we, we did a line of credit for grant anticipation money, $200,000, um, and we drew from that to help pay for the sidewalk. Yeah. So that's sitting on the books at June 30th, but hopefully once we get the money back from the reimbursement that we just put in, and we've got some other monies that are coming in and the taxes are due in a month, hopefully we'll be able to pay that off. Um, so like I said, with everything staying the same, we were at 168,000, but our delinquents at June 30th were quite hot for the taxes. Um, so the number on the page one of the, the budget report, which there's a balance sheet in the budget report, that number is going to change for the property taxes because we're going to have to reduce that depending on how much we can collect between July and August this year. Our actual. Yeah. Do you have a sense of what that number might be? Um, our delinquents at the end of the year this year are 151,000. And last year we booked like 67,000 worth of deferrals. So unless we can get that 151 down to 67 again, it's going to be a, I don't know, we're working on it. We've got some tax sales that, that we may do. We've made quite a few agreements on those tax sales. And we've also just sent out another round of delinquent notices that you may hear from people that we, their pink notices, they've caused a lot of a stir. I know, right. Yeah. I mean, people are, people are noticing them. Well, that's good. It is good, yeah. But you might hear, you know, why you're getting pink notices from the town. But so hopefully we can do some, you know, pretty substantial collections in the next couple months because we can count anything that we receive in July and August towards the last fiscal year. So that number is going to change, the 168,000. Um, but you know, if you have any questions on any of the numbers, there were a couple of things that I noticed. The, I know dog fees haven't been put in there yet. Um, the local ordinance fines, there's some, still a little bit of revenue that we can post. Um, the pool income's down a little bit. Well, quite a bit, actually. And I think that's, what? I think it's because we are not, the swimming, we haven't been able to find a swim instructor to do oh, swimming is that lessons. Right? No. So that's taking a little bit of a hit. Um, there's a three days worth of payroll that I still need to book back to last year. So there's going to be some modifications to it, but hopefully the delinquency is going to be the big factor in the number changing. If you go through those and if you have any questions, I'm going to be trying, I'm meeting with the auditors coming next Friday um, so that he can start his preliminary work. So I'm hoping to have most of it done by then. If you see anything crazy, let me know and I'll try to answer it and take care of it. someone about it today, the bike um, head grant that we talked about at the, at the sidewalk meeting, the last sidewalk meeting, 
they're having a workshop next Tuesday from one to three in Broward World, and I'm going to, I'm going to go to that because about what about the application process yeah. or what's yeah I mean it's a quick application I mean it's due August 24th oh. I think is when it's due but when I talked to the guy um, at the state he encouraged us to apply for both so both apply for this one and then the, the yeah oh, good. is it likely to get both I don't think you're likely to get both oh. but this one actually they're going to announce in the fall they're hoping to so you would know if you were turned down for that one and still have the opportunity right to i mean my concern was is it going to hurt us if we hide for both you know is somebody but he said a lot of communities are ready yeah to apply so the the quick turnaround of the announcement i think it was june 29th or yeah, something that may be and the deadline of august isn't seeming to be a problem for some communities because right. they're you know they're kind of on the same path we are We're right. which might work in our favor that it's mm -hmm. a short period of time yeah. just there might not be as many how much what, how big is the pool do you know i want to say i read it was two million was and what's the maximum or I don't know, but the, the match is different. The other one on uh, the VTrans enhancement is 20 and this one's 10. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we can at all figure out how to, you know, be worth after you go yeah. to that meeting, having a discussion with them. Um, yeah, and I have a, I, I just got an email back from Matt Mann today. He's going to call me about it tomorrow. I just think that, you yeah. know, tailoring that top end or somehow figuring out how we can make it appealing for bike bed would be yeah. good. But, yeah. So, just um, thought I'd mention, and I'll go down to that and see what they have to. Well, we're on that. Alice Mays, have you met Alice yet? I have. Has she come in? She wants to be on the sidewalk committee or involved. She wants to be notified on the sidewalk okay. committee. So, she's talked to me about that, and I just, if. if well, it was suggested to me. Yeah, that, it was suggested to me today to um, have her come to the meeting next week, also. Great. Okay. So I was going to contact her about that. To the meeting next week. Okay. The Who suggested that? Phil. Okay. She can be abrasive. Um, so. Um, yeah. Hopefully that won't be an issue, but. Because I, I mean that's a public meeting, so she certainly she sits astride one of the one of the routes. Yeah. Of passage there. So she yeah. So. Just, uh, um, and that meeting is going. And uh, what what we're talking about is the meeting next week with the, the design. Looking at the design for the second phase of the sidewalk, so kind of meeting with people that are involved with it. Okay. So the next thing is Tom brought to me the basic emergency operation plan that needs to be signed by the board chair. The only thing he changed in it was my contact, the information for me, but he needed it updated and signed. So apparently he wants it signed up there. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't say I just signed it about a month ago. Yeah, he didn't change. There was nothing else that changed other than contact information. And then I've included in here, this was on the last agenda, the public safety reimbursement fund. This is another thing that's going to impact the surplus from this year we just closed because we do need to move some money back to that because of the payment that we made for the fire station was not as big as we thought it was going to be last year because of the refinance. So we just need to make a decision of how much is going to be moved back there. And there's a, the options are um, listed on that paper. And this is the discussion we had the last time we talked about the host fund and who was paying for the, the defibrillator and the turnout gear and my my suggestion would be the number three which is we transferred 69,000 to the general fund to cover the payment we only had two interest payments that left us a balance of 45,000 
So if we take the 45,000 and keep the 10,000 of the unbudgeted expenses for the turnout here on the defibrillator and the 3,500 that we had budgeted as income from that to the general fund, then we would transfer back 31,000. And if, it, and if it stays in the reimbursement fund, then it, that fund is building, is yes. that right? Okay. Yeah. Towards the building. Right. Towards the building and, and, and any other. Ultimately, yeah, because that's what we voted on as town meeting. Yeah. Right. Right. That who has the right to spend, you know, what are we spending that money on and what is it being? Yeah. I mean, how will that money, I mean, we will start generating roughly that much money per year? This year? Yeah. No. It'll be, because it, it, it's yep. just because it was an oddball year in the refinancing that we had that much right. left. Is we normally right? had a payment of interest and principal that equaled the 69000 Right. So yeah. it's because we refinance, we it. only pay. So we're reducing, do you know what that payment total is going to be for next year, roughly? Or? I can't remember, but it's still less than, not a lot less than what we were, uh, yeah, I would have to look. So that fund will keep growing, but not... Yeah. anywhere near to the same degree yeah so, okay. yeah I mean it all really depends on the because we put any billing that the fire department does for um, we put all of that in there right um, so it really depends on that and then the donations from the school goes right out. yeah I mean we're, we're gonna be dealing with the um, sheriff's department salary issue in a couple years mm -hmm. so I don't know whether this is a fund that yeah, I don't could support that or not. Is that right? is it? My grand end this mm -hmm. school year? I, I, yes, a year from right. Right. Mm -hmm. exactly. yeah, Ju July 1st, 2013. Right. So you guys want to make a decision on how much for me to transfer which option we're going to. I mean, I know that what stopped us the last time was the discussion about who should be paying for those unbudgeted fire department expenses. And did we, do we have any more information on that or it's the, just what it is? The only thing that I found was um, a discussion in the minutes. Was it on the turnout gear? It was on the turnout gear. Yeah, but I did not see anything in there about the defibrillator, but the bill was paid half by the fire department and yeah. half by us, so there was some discussion somewhere of who, it was a half and half, I, and I don't know where that discussion was, it was not in the minutes. Well, we, yeah, we had, I think we had. So. Okay. So do we need a motion on this, or shall I, uh, everybody comfortable with a motion to support option three? I would support number three. I'll make a motion that we um, uh, transfer from the balance left of the public safety reimbursement fund um, $10,653.75 towards, to that goes to the fire department? No. Yeah, if you want to just do the 31,000, it's, I'm actually going to transfer the 31,000 back. Just to, to, okay, so the motion would be to transfer from the general fund to, to the, the reimbursement, reimbursement yeah. fund, the public safety reimbursement fund, the total amount of $31,147.92. Second that. Okay, it's been moved and seconded to transfer from the general fund uh, amount of thirty-one thousand one hundred forty-seven dollars and ninety-two cents um, to the reimbursement fund, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, no. No, from the reimbursement from, fund back to the general fund. No. From the general fund. General to fund to the reimbursement. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now it went the other way the first now time. Right. Third. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, is there any discussion? <laughs> Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Nay. You got that one? Yes. Okay. I don't, I'm not sure if 
this is, I, I think Chris brought this up to you guys about the um, Simon's operation, the overages for the maintenance. Yeah. Yes. So I don't know what was decided if we were going to pay them the overages of seven thousand three twenty fifty eight or what. Do, do you want a refresher of what no. I'm talking about? Or? No, 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 I think we just had to pay. Hey, yeah, okay. right. We, yes, because the, he had actually brought a, a right. sizably larger. Right. This was, this was the this was compromise the, number. The compromise. Okay. Yeah, we we, we, he wasn't totally 100% sure that we had. Yeah. Okay. But we had agreed, I believe, on that number. So 7,320. Yeah. Okay. All right, I just wanted to make sure before I um, pay it out. So last meeting, we voted on a tax rate that Anita came up with. The next day, her and I looked at it and realized that she had used a total of a brainless figure that was incorrect because of some... Um, I want to say that it was current use. But we had taken too much off of the grand list total. So we then raised a higher tax rate than we needed to. The tax rate we voted on, or you guys voted on, was 0.5525 at the last meeting. When we did the corrections and recalculated it, it changed it to 0.5427. So this is her more complete tax rate. Um, it has the local agreement rate. We don't have a copy of this. Yeah. Oh, we don't? Oh, maybe it's the right way. Sorry. are given to us by the state so this is a more complete so I we at least need to vote to I mean, amend -vote, yeah to amend the tax rate to reflect the the more appropriate tax rate okay I'll make a motion that we um, change the approved tax rate from point five five two five to point five four two seven um, due to changes in mathematical calculations in order to raise a total of 1,210,277.55. No, or is it 1,209,807 1, to be raised by taxes? Well, or is it the it's this number. We're, we're, it's we're, it's it's kind of rounding. We're raising okay. the I understand. And the, and the, yep, not good. Not good. And then the local agreement rate changes also, or did we not vote no, on we that last time? That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She had to that down. And then also to approve the local agreement rate of 0 0.0094 to raise a total of $20,962.98. Do you want to copy that one? It's not the 29.63. Sorry, I'm like, from reading that to Oh, it's from a different page. Sorry. 
Are you looking at the, the calculation yeah. sheet? Yeah. It, 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 there's yes. Is it off by a lot? No, it's just rounding. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it's just a rounding. Okay. to change the uh, tax rate from 0.5525 to 0.5427 uh, enough to raise taxes, which will generate an income of $1,210,277.55 and also raise the local agreement to 0.0094 which should generate $20,962.98. Uh, any discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Um, I was given, the next item is a Green Mountain Power opt-out consent agreement. I was given this form by a resident that would like the town to opt out of the smart meter that's on the pump station at Old Depot Road. The right, right yes. yep. um, There is a smart meter on there right now. I called Green Mountain Power and just to find out what that meant for us. And on their, their agreement to opt out, it lists all of the benefits that they feel are provided to anyone using a smart meter that we would be agreeing to not have anymore, which there's a list of them on the opt-out agreement. There's no fee associated with opting out, and they will come and switch out the meter that's already there for no charge. And I also asked if we were to decide later if we want a smart meter back there on there if there was a charge to have them come back and she said no so um, I, guess, I guess I would need from whoever it was the reason. what's the argument yeah. well no, I'm, I'm, yeah. brain, I'm, uh, brain tumors I think yeah, basically, basically Get out of here. Is that what radio is? frequency field fields that and I and when I talked to him he was you know it wasn't like it was going to be the end all, he wasn't, you know, totally just trying to get as many of these radio frequency fields away, as, away possible. as possible. And if this wasn't giving us any real benefit that we could see that we needed, then what would it hurt to opt out of it was basically, and this was the information that he gave me if anybody wants to take a look. There's a lot there. I did not look into the other view of this. I didn't. I mean, and this isn't something that we have to do tonight. If you guys want to just yeah. wait and I can bring it back and you can decide whether or not to. not the only smart meter we have in town, is it? I'm sure not. Yeah. No, 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 I'm guessing that's just because of proximity to this person's residence yes. would be my guess. Yeah. Did this person remain, could wish to remain? No. He didn't, Daniel, Daniel, presumably. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't tell me yet. He didn't say anything about that, so I'm sure he'll tell me. He's down on that. All right, I was thinking we'll run over. Um, Over the last four months, yeah. probably, they've been doing them. 
I mean, one of the, uh, one I, of the arguments that Green that Mountain Power made to me was that there is the automatic outage detection. That, that to me is the and most obvious reason to leave it there. there. Yeah, um, and I don't know what is there to alert us. If there's an outage. And then if we are alerted, then that means we need to call Green Mountain Power right. to let them know. So that to me was one of the reasons to keep it. Well, I guess the other advantage might be, and I don't know whether we're sophisticated enough at this point within the, the monitoring of it to sort of watch our power usage. With I mean, that's the whole idea is that we could watch the usage and see, you know, whether we can increase our efficiency somehow. You know, whether right. that should be cycling only at night or whether you know whether there are ways we right. could do that. I don't know. Yeah, that. and I don't know how. Far, how advanced they are in reporting this stuff to people yet. I mean, right. I know they have to start know. somewhere, but. Um, um, the I, outage I detection guess, to me was the, was the name. Yeah, that seems like a good reason to have it. I guess the other thing I would now, this like is on to a, hear is. This is on a pumping station? Yeah. Don't most of our pumping stations already have a, a, a sure. outage alarm? I'm, I believe they have an alarm that alarms us. I'm thinking like you know, right. the thing behind the school by the, the, the you know, right. I know the one that went in the fire department certainly did. Things like that. So they're already somebody alarmed. is getting notified. Right. But if nobody's there, I, I mean how does right. that where right. does that alarm go and sure. then what are the responsibilities that follow that? I'm merely suggesting that, you know, in, in, that if I mean, people, you know, make bad choices, you know, or, or choices that are, you know, you know, this is, it's like, do you have your children vaccinated or not? Right. You know, so that you can't really argue with the person's logic, you know, and it's, you may say, look, you know, evidence shows that blah, blah, blah. But, uh, <laughs> right. How do we, how do we opt out of this? Opt out of even looking at the opt out? You have a select word opt out from the opting out. I'll just bring it to, you can just, uh, like I said, he wasn't. Let's mull it over. Yeah, yeah. mull it over. He I mean, wasn't yeah. like, it wasn't a big, it was more of if we're not gaining a lot of benefit out of it, then why risk it? Kind of, you know. Whether this stuff is true or not true or has any merit, I don't know. But but if it's not something that really is making a difference, we've then already got a lot of microwaves out here as it is. I mean, that was basically what he was saying. Right. Is that yeah. you know? Is this much going to make a difference? Is this, does yeah. this make a, a difference to? Is it you know? I mean, there are there are going to be arguments for it. You know, I guess I'd be interested in arguments for Joe's opinion of. Whether this is Whether valuable be, okay, to them, ask as far as okay. the outage notification, also as far as whether right. there's potential for it to increase the efficiency, or whether that's sort of a good point. Okay. But is that kind of, okay. that's good. These are all coming to all of our houses. They're already on your house. Oh, I'm I'm gonna, gonna, no, it's on my house. I didn't even know when they came. No, we're still on dial up. <laughs> You might be surprised. They come it's, 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 them. I think they've done most of the funding. It's good. It's just it's digital. You can just you don't hear it hum anymore. And two, which is so the next thing we have are the bank notes that need to be signed, which is the capital equipment note for hundred and six thousand, which is the truck. And we don't do we don't have that truck yet, do we? Pretty no. soon. That's it's another another couple weeks. Couple weeks, yeah. yeah. Um, so that needs to be signed. We've got the sixty thousand dollars for the sidewalk improvements. That's our match. That's our match. Yeah. Um, this? Oh, this is a refunding note for. This was for the loader last year. The sixty-five thousand dollars, and this is a renewal note that needs to be. Time for the remainder of the balance after we made a payment. And she's got 
stickers. Dennis about it today. He's he's going to be going on vacation, but he said that the truck he's got instructions for when the truck gets delivered um, because then they have to bring it. Fairfields. Right. Oh, so it's not. Oh, okay. I thought yeah, it was already not Fairfields. No. No. I mean, the major question on the sidewalk the last few days has been, what happened? What, Why are we in when, stands yeah, when What is, is yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it'll, I mean, it'll pick right up, so. Yeah. That should be good. So, that should be in the next week, and they were busy out there today. <laughs> yeah, no, they, that's, to come in and lay that much curving in a day, is, that's a lot of work. Impressive. Yeah. So the next item is Wetland Stewardship Committee appointment. Apparently, maybe you're interested in being on that? I said I would. So I moved. Quick before we change it. I'll second that. Well, that was quick. Mm -hmm. We need a vote, right? Yeah. yeah. Been moved and seconded to appoint Scott Henry to the uh, uh, Stewardship Committee, Wetland Stewardship Committee. All those in favor? Aye. 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 There's a meeting out there next Wednesday. So we'll look around if you'd like to join us. What time is that? It is at 10.45. Convenient time. It's Wednesday the 18th, yeah. So I had select board meeting schedule on here only because I guess the 4th was a regular scheduled meeting so we jumped to the 11th. So do we just want to keep doing every other now or are we going to, what do you guys want to do? Chris told me to ask because he wasn't sure. I asked him the meeting schedule and he said we're kind of out of order. Right. And then he Does mentioned the 2nd and 4th Tuesday and... Right. I'm not, you I mean, know, we probably got knocked out of order at some point. I don't think it matters. So just every other. Yeah, I think we'll yeah. just So the next meeting other. would be the 25th. Yep. Okay. And then I put the town hall heat improvement proposal on here because I found it. And I know Chris mentioned it to me, um, but I noticed that it was dated January. And I'm sure you guys have already seen this, but I don't see a signed copy. So I was hoping to, I put a call into the, the this bill, Hustis at Fleming, to make sure that this proposal was still 
I mean, we even looked through the minutes to see if we could see if it was voted on. We didn't do any of this? It was, it was discussed that money would be added into the capital plan, but I don't know that the proposal was ever signed. It appears that it wasn't. There was a new main trunk run to the north side. I mean, it was... Well, no, no, let's be honest. So, we don't really need to do anything. I wanted to just check with him to make sure this was still okay, or if he, I couldn't find a signed copy. These are all originals that I have here. But he didn't call me back yet. Okay. Um, there's, we haven't received a bill from Flying. We, we haven't, the, we we haven't, haven't done, done the work, work. We haven't yet. done the work. No, and, oh, Chris, okay. no, and Chris was telling okay. me I need to contact them and, and start get it, get it going. Okay. And then I found this proposal that apparently we should have signed and accepted, and I couldn't find where we have accepted Sorry, it. And, accept and so I called and left this Bill Hustis a, right. a message, and I haven't heard back from him. Just, I just wanted to make sure that this was all still, I mean, it's we six months old. Had so. Right, we voted it for it, we planned for it. Uh, yeah. Do we want to make sort of a well, I don't know if you want to make, if, if he calls me and tells me that, yes, this is all still, if you just want me to sign it and go ahead with the work. Yeah. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah, we yes. didn't, we didn't run a new truck on? I thought we did. Yeah. I know we talked. <laughs> I agree. Well, I don't know. One went to the, we ran yeah. the Lister's well, office. The Lister's office. Well, that wasn't part of, but that wasn't this. That wasn't well, part of except this. Except it was supposed to. It was add another warm air run to Lister's room using some existing six inch room, mm -hmm. but, but maybe. So maybe we need to pull the bills from what they did before. Well, I think the, I think what we're thinking was done before was the original getting heat out there. To the listers, yeah. okay. Because I don't think. So we're, we would be adding we'd to that. Adding area. to what was done. That sounds like spoilage. <laughs> sounds like overkill to me. Because Chris mentioned even taking the it's going to take from the atmosphere in here, but it's all covered up. It's very cozy on a winter night. Pull up in front of it. We can switch the camera. We can switch the camera angle. We can get an electric an electric one and switch the camera angle to us. Exactly. Fireside chat. That would be good. All right, so what? Why don't you find out from Bill Hustis what's been done? Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, okay. And then we'll figure it out from there. All right, I'll bring that back. Yeah. But if he said, okay, I'll just I'll, I'll follow up then. But by all means, let's do it before. We're well, I mean, it, I'm kind of, and that's what I figured is I might be bringing some stuff back that you guys have already, but at this that's point fine. right now, Chris was kind of just. Okay, write this down, Deal write this, this down, so yeah. I've been right. looking right. through stuff to just kind of follow so, up and make sure we're... Well, and it's, so if I'm duplicating stuff... <clears throat> but it's probably as foggy for us as it <laughs> might be for you. <laughs> Mine's like steel traps there. I do a lot of taking one out. piece of paper and putting it there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the other one that we have the warrants, I don't know, is it just this in here? Um, there's a few there. There's the ones that Scott had signed in between. Um, and there's some payroll warrants there. That one on top might be that um, one that was reissued. Remember the dog fees that were reissued? Okay. Have you poured for the bus shelter or not? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Kind of got good. Mm. Okay. I mean, four was simple. Ahead just with the old business because I don't think there's anything we really need to talk about. 
talk about because I just I'm adding it there so that I know there are things that have been talked about um, that we need to keep on top of, but I don't know that there's anything that we need to do. Um, the Gassets Road vacant building, I found a letter about that that at some point needs to be addressed. I guess Tom brought it to the board at one point. A number of years. We, yeah, uh, he, Chris has been in touch with the owners more than once. There's some, I think there's some ownership issue, is that right? Yeah, uh, I remember. It was in the state. Some yeah, exactly. State. Yeah. 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 Some yeah. Probably trap or something. I mentioned it to Tom again, and he was going to kind of get me more up to date on what he thought. Also, um, the Paddington, you guys were just talking about yep. the CRT mm -hmm. bus shelter. I don't know when the shelter is actually going to go. They're getting a volunteer group together to do it, so since we pull that mirror up, we'll keep the motor. <laughs> same, same for <laughs> leverage, you know. And then I had wastewater improvements on here because I know that that's something that we're going to be talking about, has been talked about, but there's really nothing, no update on it right now. And then the sidewalk, the second phase of the sidewalk, I kind of already said stuff about that. I'm going to go to the meeting for the bike ped grant, see if that is something. Um, we should apply for and then I'm looking to set a meeting for early August with the sidewalk committee and I sent an email out looking for dates so hopefully we'll get that meeting going. So the meeting next week is? The meeting next what, week. With the land owners? Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. And I've contacted Greg Wilson and um, Paul. And did you talk to Paul? Or I didn't talk or? to him. I talked. I left a message at home, and his wife called me back and said that he would be there. And, okay. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't talk to them. Okay. Um, and I and are those, uh, as far as Alice is concerned, are those public or not? I mean, that, I'm, I'm just not sure whether that's sort of a, an open meeting type thing or not. I would assume that it would have to be, yeah. It would be, okay. Yeah. Especially, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the thought is at that meeting to have one come in and sit with the group and then, right. you know, so I've kind of staggered the, right. Right, right, the right, people right. to come yeah. in. But I assume if the public, if somebody wants to sit and listen to right. what the discussion is, yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if, if there's anybody, you know, else that we should, I mean, I felt like Basketville and Mountain Pauls, that was the area that everybody kind of got stuck on. Well, they're and the, that was why they're the we, ones that are going to, that have business interests. Well, you know, the other people that you might want to touch base with is, um, is SLK, um, because they have a vested interest too. They're, they're the ones the who own the old fire, old fire station. Yeah. Um, uh, who's sort of the primary in that group, it's probably, uh, it's, I if it's Keith or? I think it is Keith. Um, Keith. Trump. Um, you know, just out of sort of. Yeah, I mean, it's not the same area. Those are the three businesses that are, would be affected by yeah. it, so we should probably, I mean, but it was more, for me with that meeting, it was more about which design. It wasn't, do you want it? It was, how do you want it, kind of. Right, yeah. although any one of those people could, could say, yeah. be, could have issues with it and sort of bring up a public issue, yeah. make a public issue out of it if they yeah. wanted to. Yeah. Um, and I would say that, you know, SLK probably has as vested an interest as the other two right in that area. Mm -hmm. You know, the other person that ultimately may have an opinion is J.D. Which, as well, which you know, there's sort of the public, and right. I think no, I understand the that. meeting in August, in early August, is to actually kind of decide where we're at with the design and then schedule the public hearings. 
Yeah, so. I, I think that we should contact SLK just because okay. it, you know, w that we are working off the assumption that discussion was had with them previously and they've seemed receptive to it, but we're basically talking about closing off yeah. okay. the vast uh -huh. majority of and their so right away. So I, th I think we should just talk to them. I don't have anything else. I think I've <laughs> had quite a bit on here tonight. <laughs> you did great. Yeah, no, that was good. That was good. Efficient use of time. Mm -hmm. so. Anybody have anything else that I need to do? In the next Richard Couton is going to be here at 6 30. Oh, yes. Yes. Five minutes. So is that executive session? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we're probably good now, I guess. Yep. Thank you.